scientists once could not imagine that it would be possible to prove that matter consists of atoms. Many scientists even thought that matter was continuous and could not be broken down. Later, some scientists thought there would be a way to prove that matter is made of atoms, and they succeeded. Today, it's a generally accepted fact that matter consists of atoms. In recent years, the question of whether space-time is also made of discrete parts has been on the agenda of scientists. These scientists think that space is like a piece of cloth made up of individual fibers, not continuous. According to this claim, if we can size space to a small enough scale, we can see atoms of space. Parts of irreducible volume that cannot be divided into anything smaller. In such a case, time may be constantly changing or it may be developing in small steps. And scientists turn these claims into a theory, loop quantum gravity. This theory predicts that space and time are made up of discrete parts. The most important feature of loop quantum gravity is that it is a testable theory. And if space-time atoms are out there, that means we can discover them in future experiments. String theory is the most popular competitor to loop quantum theory. Strings, which gave its name to string theory, are the basic components of matter and energy. According to this theory, strings give rise to the numerous subatomic particles seen in particle accelerators. These strings are also responsible for gravity. The graviton, the particle responsible for gravity, is the inevitable result of this theory. Loop quantum gravity and string theory try to solve the same problem, the quantum gravity problem. But loop quantum gravity does not claim to be a theory of everything, like string theory. That's why it hasn't been as popular as string theory. The main purposes of loop quantum gravity is just to have a quantum theory for gravity. Loop attempts to explain quantum gravity by combining general relativity with quantum mechanics. General relativity is Einstein's theory of space-time. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, is a fundamental physical theory that explains how the universe works on a smaller scale than atoms. One of the main issues that general relativity and quantum mechanics disagree on is the role that space-time plays in physics. For quantum mechanics, space-time is the background for all physical phenomena in the universe. This background can bend and warp, and this can affect the paths of the particles. But that's all. All physics takes place above this background space-time. String theory also assumes the existence of a background space-time on which the theory of everything works. On the other hand, according to general relativity, space-time is not a background scene for actors. General relativity does not assume a background. It creates the background. General relativity is the language of the warping of space-time. The warping of space-time produces its own gravitational physics. Unlike string theory, loop quantum gravity seeks the theory of gravity by accepting the claims of general relativity as it is. If gravity is the mechanics of space-time, then we have to search for the quantum theory of space-time to arrive at the quantum theory of gravity. Loop quantum gravity attempts to achieve this quantization and arrive at a quantum theory of gravity. Thus, loop quantum gravity tries to show that the fabric of space-time is not continuous, as Einstein assumed, but consists of discrete quanta. In loop quantum gravity, space-time is made up of finite loops with nodes connecting them. Large quantities of these loops are called spin networks. Space can be thought of as the geometry of spin networks and time as motion that rearranges spin networks. The spin network plus the movement is spin foam. This is an integral description of loop quantum gravity. But on the other hand, although the loop quantum gravity has partially succeeded in quantifying space-time using spin networks, it has not yet shown the same success at normal scales as it did at small scales. The success of loop quantum gravity at normal scales 
means that when we use this theory in a normal scale case, such as the Earth orbiting the Sun, we can get results similar to those we would get from general relativity or Newtonian physics. That is, loop quantum gravity must contain Einstein's general relativity within itself. We don't know yet whether loop quantum gravity will achieve this. In other words, quantized spacetime must be able to regain the smooth and undulating texture of the spacetime of general relativity. However, how to do this remains an unsolved problem. In short, loop quantum gravity is a very important theory as it offers a testable solution to the quantum gravity problem. However, the mathematics of loop quantum gravity has not yet found a workable solution. But this may change in the future. And just as we proved that matter is made up of atoms, maybe one day we can prove that space-time is also made up of atoms.